Frankie TV, and I'm here to do an episode two recap of Bride of the Century, and that's with Lee Hong Yi of FT Island fame. Nadurim gets a makeover, which is really fun because I like seeing makeovers. It's just very Cinderella, it's super Disney, and all girls probably want to be taken to a beauty salon where they do your hair, you do your makeup, and then you get to go and pick out a fabulous outfit to go to dinner. It just seems like a lot of fun, so I always enjoy when there's like some kind of Cinderella transformation. So they're on their way to the lunch and there is something that's pretty funny that happens. Lee Hong Yi is still kind of giving Na Durim, you know, little ribbings here and there and, you know, you don't have to marry me or if you want to marry me, stick it out and what have you. And so Na Durim gets like a little bit kind of frazzled and she trips and she accidentally pulls Lee Hong Gi into a very cute little kiss in the hallway. And I'm sure a lot of fangirls were like, oh, yay, you know, some skinship so early on in the Korean drama. So that was kind of cute. Lee Hong Gi so far is a little bit stiff in terms of his acting. He doesn't really feel as like, I just, I feel like he's kind of overreaching in terms of playing the heir, the pompous jerk guy. He was more cute as Jeremy where he's like, oh, I'll egg you and pining away from, for the girl rather than kind of like playing it cool and pushing the girl away. Then they go into a family trip with Lee Hong Gi's family and so there was an interesting little scene where there was more interaction between Lee Hong Gi and Na Durim and it was kind of cute, but I don't know if I'm really feeling the connection between the two of them. I'm feeling more of the connection between Na Durim and her supposed half-brother. I mean, I don't know. There's a little bit more spark. There's a little bit more chemistry. What do you guys think? So they're doing this thing to honor the ancestors, and during this time, Lee Hong Gi is helping Na Durim and then something happens and again she falls on him and they get into skinship and physical contact. They're falling a lot all over each other so I think that it adds some cuteness but they're going to have to mix it up and actually have them have some skinship where they actually mean it rather than tripping and falling all over each other. Because I mean it's cute but you know it can only do so much after a while. And Rumi, who has followed Lee Hong Gi's character around for, since childhood, sees this, witnesses it, and she is just so angry. And so she stalks out of the room and goes goes off to like pout. And so Lee Hong Gi goes over to her and like you know talks her out, talks her down from her you know anger. And then Na Durim, she sees this and she's like, oh, so, you know, there's a little bit of intrigue and interesting stuff happening there. And she's kind of like, whatever is about it, because it's really not her fiance and she's not that connected to him yet. And I actually don't feel that she's connected with him at all either. So we'll see how that part goes. So towards the end of everything, you see Na Durim and Lee Hong Gi at an opening of their company event or some kind of big thing where it's a lot of cameras, a lot of um, company people, and a very angry former employee goes and like yells at Lee Hong Gi's character and then th chucks a tomato at his head. And of course, Na Durim has to go in front of it, shoot in front of it, she gets whacked in the face with the tomato. And so, you know, Lee Hong Gi's probably like, hmm, you know, this girl is actually kind of different and she's, you know, she, she must really like me if she's gonna take a tomato for me. <laughs> actually, that's kind of funny now that I say it out loud, so. It's a lot more fun when you're kind of watching with other people who have something to talk about. So let me know what you guys are thinking about and then I'll probably start focusing more on what's what's entertaining for everybody. Because like this one, Bride of the Century, is kind of not holding my attention as well as some of the other ones. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.